In this video, you will learn how to create event dispatchers and communicate between blueprints. So in my event graph, you can see event dispatchers here. Let's click this plus icon and give the name, for example, test dispatcher. Hit compile. And now let's create an event. For example, when I hit F on my keyboard, I want to call this test dispatcher. So drag it in and hit call. Then connect this one up. So whenever it have in my character, then this call out my dispatcher and any blueprint listening to this will execute an event. So let's, for example, go here to the level blueprint. Okay, first we need to create a reference. So from event begin play, cast to third person character and the object is my get player character because this is where my dispatcher is placed in. Let's also right click and uh, promote to a variable so we can uh, later on call this once more. Is this a reference? So now when you drag off of this, then you can see bind event to test dispatcher. Also plug the target, connect this to the third person character. And right now you can see here event. So when I drag off this event, I can add event and add custom event. For example, say hello. So when I drag this off, print string, for example, hi there, and then hit compile. And now in my level, when I hit F, you can see right here, hi there. And this is coming from my third person character into my level blueprints. But you can also do this with different ones. So let's create a blueprint, right click blueprint class, make an actor for this. And let's drag this in the game. And let's make this a cube. So add a cube. Okay, nice. Also in the event graph, first thing we will need to do is create a reference. So once again, class to third person character. The object is my character. So get player character. Then once more, look for bind event to test dispatcher. Connect this one up as well. And we can create an event. And this can be a different event. And that's the beauty of event dispatchers. So let's say we destroy the cubes. So I drag off this, destroy actor, and actor is itself. So now when I hit play, you see these two cubes. Hit F. And these cubes are deleted, but this is also still running. So whenever I fire my event dispatcher, this calls out to the world, and all blueprints listening to this will execute this function. So you use this to call different events like this. Now, also something else that you can do, when I go back here where I created my dispatcher, click the dispatcher, you can create inputs. So, for example, a new parameter, let's create a string. You can see a new input appearing right here, compile. So let me create a variable. Let's create some text for this. Choose a string for the text as well. And let's type it in. This is a variable text. And let's drag this in. Connect this up. And right now, this won't do anything yet. So you will see, it's still high there. So I'm gonna go back here to my print string and my say hello function. And now I connect this up. And you can see, now we have the text of the variable. But for my new blueprint, I uh, can leave this uh, as is. Now, let's say you want to clear the binding because you don't always need it. Remember, we created the reference right here in our third person map. So we can drag off this and then say, for example, unbind all events from the test dispatcher or just this one. Let's do all. And then I hit play. So now, you can see the cube disappearing in my text and I press F again and it stopped. So this is how you can start a binding and then stop it. Because now if I remove it once more, you see these cubes are destroyed but this one just continues. Basically, when you use event dispatchers, they call out to the world and any blueprint listening to this one will execute its event. So it's great for event calling in your Unreal Engine 5 project.